Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nordia Anis bin Zakaria, matric number 08BEP19F1089. So today I would like to share with you guys how I treat my wound at home. For those who love to do a lot of activities at home like gardening, cooking and so much more, maybe we'll get a minor injuries. But how you guys treat your wound? Today I decided to share with you guys how I treat my wound. And hopefully it's going to be one of the best way to treat the wound. Before anything else, I would like to share with you guys the thing that you guys might need to treating the wound. So let's get started. The first thing that I have is washproof plaster. You can get this at any drugstore nearby. The second thing that I have here is petroleum jelly or we call it as Vaseline. The third thing that I have here is latex glove. You can get this at any pharmacy nearby. Also, I have a cotton pad. This is the most important thing. This is iodine. I also have a plain gauze swab. If you have a gauze, you need this one. This is pepper surgical tape. Also, I decided to wear a glove. Before you want to clean, make sure your hand should be washed. Before anything else, this wound is going to be clean first. Take a piece of cotton pad, clean the wound using the cotton pad. Pressure should be applied to a wound as the best way to stop the bleeding. Now, the wound was rinsed by using the tap water. A few drops of iodine is poured onto the cotton pad. I slowly dab it around the wound. Iodine reduces thyroid hormone. It can kill fungus and bacteria. A thin layer of petroleum jelly applied around the wound to keep the surface moisture and help prevent scarring. Topical antibiotic should not be applied without doctor prescription. Now you can choose either to use a gauze or a washproof plaster but first I want to use a washproof plaster take a piece of suitable washproof plaster and place it onto the wound place it very carefully I will use gauze and pepper surgical tea. Take a piece of gauze and place it on the wound. The gauze will secure by using the pepper surgical tea. It will not mess it around. That's the final result of using the course and pepper surgical tea. That's all for me. I hope you find it useful for turning this video into action. And stay safe. Thank you.